today I'm gonna show you guys how to make some glow beats for Chief Keef or even Trippy Red's new album, which was executively produced by Chief Keef. Don't got a face cam on today, but we're gonna get straight to it anyways. If you guys do enjoy and learn something new, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos. Someone actually requested it, so here's the video. If you got any more recommendations, make sure you guys leave it in the comment section down below. Yeah, let's get straight to it. So anyways, here's the whole FOP, and first we're gonna get into the melodies. I used four melodies, and they're all X-Band. So the first X-Band I used, I went into the brass and wood winds bright trombone brass and i laid these notes down pretty obvious that a lot of glow beats always use like horns brass trumpets a lot of orchestral sounds so x band has a lot of good brass sounds in it but anyways to break down the chords i laid down it's just a bunch of notes duplicated on top of each other so what i mean by that i first started with b which is the root note and i copied that an octave up and then i copied it up another octave then i just added these very simple chords on top a very simple trick i'll do is i'll take my root note which is b and i'll shift it up seven notes so one two three four five six seven and it always works perfectly and then another thing I'll do is I'll take the same note B my root note and then I'll pitch it up two notes So one two and then an octave which is the method I use to get these top notes right here But other than that, to get that glow, like Chief Keef type of sound, you always want to add these little stabs. That was basically it. For the effects, all I did was use a little bit of reverb. You can use any reverb you want. And then I just went to the stock EQ and I just lowered the low ends a little bit. Next, I copied the exact same MIDI into another X band. This one is in the same folder, but I used the 23 trumpet section. That was without effects. For the effects, I added effect tricks and I added the classic backwards vocals. And then an EQ just taking out all the lows and now it sounds like this. And then the second to last sound I added was another X band, of course. I went to the strings folder and I selected the 24 bright legato strings. Nothing too crazy, just layering on top of my melodies to make it sound more full. For the effects, same thing, very simple, just reverb, and I just use the stock EQ to take out the lows. Nothing crazy, very, very simple. And then the last sound I added is from x -Band again. I went to the soft leads and I selected number 28, the green mannequin. This melody is very, very simple. I just used the root note, which is B, and I just laid down the two notes on top. No effects on this one. I barely used any effects on any of these sounds. Pretty much it. This is how all the melodies sound together. Yeah, very very simple but it caught the perfect chief key type of vibe now we get into the drums so the drums are a little more complex than the melody but it's still very very simple it's all about just using the right sounds all the sounds i use in this beat come from nocturnal drum kit by evan and then chase so to start off the drums i first picked this red 808 and all i did is i raised the out knob so the 808 would fade out So yeah, very, very simple. I'm just using my root note, which is B. And then to create a dark horror movie type of feel, all I did is for the second half, I took these notes up one note to make it more dark. And then at the end, I added this little stutter note. How I did this stutter note is I went inside the envelope and I made this square. I just turned every knob down except hold. So when the note ends, the 808 will just completely cut off. Then at the end, I added this triplet roll. I just went up here and I selected the one third step and I used the same notes from down here, just up an octave. But next, after that, I layered it with this Sean Ferrari snare. Then I added this Juco hi-hat. Fairly, fairly simple, just a two-step hi-hat. I just cut out some of the hi-hats to create more space for other instruments and to just give it more rhythm. I added this very small roll right here. All I did is I highlighted a note and I did Alt U. And then I did the same thing for this roll down here. And all I did is I just grabbed the velocity and I raised it up and then I raised it back down. Next, I added this blunt open hat. 
put it throughout the beat to give it more bounce and then I added this other one on top. And then I just place these notes every time the 808 will hit. So I'm just layering on top of the 808. And then lastly, for the second half of the beat, I just add a little bit of perks here and there to fill up the beat. I first added this basement chant. I added this wick bell. I created this little stutter. I just enabled cut itself and I just laid down another note. I just brought the velocity all the way to zero. And then lastly, I just added these snare rolls to kind of tuck in the background. But other than that, that was pretty much it. I didn't do any mixing on these drums except panning them a little bit. All I did is I created this little arrangement, but key thing you gotta do when it comes to these like glow type beats is the little like hi-hat intro. A lot of Chief Keeps beats and glow beats in general always do that little hi-hat intro. But other than that, that's pretty much it on the master. All I have is a soft clipper with the threshold at negative 13. And then the post gain, I raised it to 90 so the beat is a little louder. And on the stock EQ, I just raised the high so the beat is a lot more clean and crispy. And then I took down a little bit of the low so it's not so muddy. But other than that, that was pretty much it. And then this is the final beat. But yeah, that was pretty much the whole beat. Very, very simple. You really just want to focus on sound selection and choosing the right sounds. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and learn something new. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any more videos. This video is actually from a comment that somebody recommended. So if you guys got any more video recommendations, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. If you guys did not check out my latest video, it'll be on the screen right now in the top right corner. Make sure you guys go check that out. If you guys really enjoy the Reddit tutorial, so I'm gonna definitely have one coming soon again. And lastly, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. But that's pretty much it. I really hope you guys did enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video.